that's not good. We stopped moving. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Okay, yeah. Hello? Hello, we are in elevator cab three and we are stuck between floors five and six. You need to send help ASAP. Elevator? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess all we can do is wait it out. Are you okay? Yeah, this is just the first time I've ever made eye contact with anybody in an elevator. Okay. It feels so wrong. Hey boss, I'm uh, running a little late. Yeah, the uh, uh, elevator got stuck in my apartment building. <laughs> well, maybe I'd move to a nicer place if you paid me a little more. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have said that. I love this. You do, huh? Yeah, I mean, this entire day would be completely forgettable, but now that this kerfuffle has happened, we're gonna remember each other for the rest of our lives. Eh. What do you mean, eh? I don't mean anything. Are you saying you're not gonna remember getting stuck in an elevator? No, I'll probably remember that. So you're saying you won't remember me? Well... Ah. We take it for granted that all of these complex machines will work as intended every time, so when they break down, it's very jarring. Uh-huh. Of course, in the grand scheme of things, this principle could be applied to much larger things such as civilization itself, which is a much more fragile mechanism than any of us would like to admit. You guys got any updates? We're running low on oxygen in here. These guys are taking forever. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna miss my dentist appointment. Hey, if you give me a boost, I can go through the drop ceiling and try to fix this thing. No thanks, I'm fine waiting. Wh what, you don't think I can fix it? Uh, well, it's just I think it's better to- Let me prove you wrong, give me a boost. I'm not giving you a boost. You are very difficult to work with. I would literally rather be getting a root canal right now. Elevator sure is slow today. Haha, -ha, good one. I'm not joking, it feels like this thing is barely moving. It's not. It's broken. Really? Did you miss the whole exchange where I hit the emergency button and talked to a guy who said they were sending a mechanic out? Oh, I get it. You're making a joke. Very funny. I mean, really. So what brings you to this elevator today? I'm here for an appointment with my divorce attorney. Wow, sounds like quite a story there. Yeah. And you know what? You've probably got time to tell it. Okay. You know, this is actually the second time I've been stuck in an elevator. Oh, that's terrible. No, the first time was great. Really? Yeah, because the other passenger who was stuck in there with me was a lovely young woman who was now my wife. Wow, you met your wife on a broken down elevator? No, she was my wife then too. It's just, oh. it was nice to have some quality time with her. Yeah. This feels like a sign. A sign? Yeah, it's like a sign that I am holding myself back from elevating. Hmm. Or it's just the universe saying, you should have taken the stairs, big boy. You claustrophobic? No. Feeling anxious? No. Or maybe you're upset that you're gonna be late for work or an appointment? No. My friend, you are as cool as a cucumber. I guess so. How do you feel? Oh, me? I'm I'm just on the brink of a nervous breakdown. You hide it very well now, don't you? Oh, thank you. I never would have known. Please, you're flattering me. This makes me so mad. Yeah, it's re really inconvenient. This thing had one job and it choked. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I am never taking an elevator ever again. What if you need to go somewhere that's several stories up? I'll climb to the top of the Burj Khalifa before I ever set foot in another elevator. The Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world. Yeah, I know what the Burj Khalifa is. Okay, well you looked at me like you didn't know what I was talking about. I am very emotionally distressed. Okay. I'm so sorry that you must witness the emotional distress that has been negligently inflicted on me by the landlord of this building. I bet if you were to swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, you would corroborate my story. I think so. Especially because you are witnessing my negligently inflicted emotional distress as well. Giddy up. An elevator that isn't moving is kind of just like a Lululemon fitting room without like a stool to sit on. Yeah, stool, stool would be nice. Oh, we're finally moving. Thank goodness. It's gonna be kind of sad going back out into the real world. Being stuck in here was a kind of limbo, neither here nor there, the sort of ritualistic space necessary for a, a mystical transformation. Because let me tell you, my friend, when we leave this elevator, we won't be the same people who entered it. Are you ready to be transformed? I don't know, I'm scared. I know, but we gotta do it because the doors are about to close on the rest of your life. Let's do it. Okay, well, I gotta get to my dermatologist appointment. Yeah. I've got a weird rash in my thigh. Yeah, you showed me. Where are you going? Back to the elevator. But why? This isn't my floor. I got confused. Then it's goodbye. 
for now. Wait! Take me with you. Should have taken the stairs, big boy. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than an Island? Sponsored by Raycon. Yo, I'm Chunk. And the three items I brought to the island are my knife, my tent, and my Nintendo Wii. Hey, I'm Frank, and I brought my Raycon Everyday Earbuds. You know you're allowed to bring three things, right? Okay, I missed that memo. Day one, a monkey stole my knife, cut up my tent, and beat me at Wii Bowling. I am full of chagrin. Yeah, I think someone was screaming profanities at a monkey all day, but Raycons have a noise isolating fit, so I could focus on building this. I love listening to podcasts on them as I take long walks on the beach. You built that from scratch with no tools? It was no biggie, they have eight hours of playtime and they stay in your ears no matter how much you move around. I was screaming for help all night, where were you? What? Your fancy Raycons are ruining the game. Maybe, but these come in at half the price of other premium wireless earbuds, plus they do free shipping. I bought a spare and still paid less than other brands. Can I have your spare? Ah, uh, sorry, I gave them to the monkey. <laughs> I quit. Take me home. I tried to tell him, just click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash frankjames to get 20% off your order. But he just walked into the ocean. And you haven't seen him since? Uh, no. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to get the police involved. So do I win the game? No. Ah, that's a shame.